Looks like the badminton players are getting ready for Ayasis. These guys have been training really hard, but maybe we could get some time to talk to these tough athletes and see what they're like. I'm here with John, Justin, the badminton coaches, Katie, Sophie, uh, Coach Allen. Coach Allen. And what sport do you play, John? Uh, I play badminton. Oh, badminton! What a surprise. Okay, and what is your favorite thing about badminton? I think just like smacking the shuttle. Because <laughs> it's like so exhilarating, you know? Take like all that stress out. I mean, it's not, it's not that heavy. It's, it's a pretty small shuttle. No, but you just gotta, like, you gotta whack it. Yeah. Just... Okay. How, sh how confident do you guys feel with the badminton team this year? Well, for me, I, I feel like the, the team is really a good um, blend this year. We have like um, good for, I mean, all of the players are like um, competitive. Like they can be good, they can win the games, they can lose games also. So it's, it's actually um, a good chance for the whole team to do definitely better than the bronze medal we did last year. Hopefully we'll do better. Like gold. <laughs> like hopefully. <laughs> okay. This is kind of a loaded question, but do you have anything to say to the people who think badminton is an easy sport? Yeah, 100% true. Easy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well then. Are you a singles player? Yeah, I'm a singles player. Are you single? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John. Yes. What is your favorite thing about badminton? Uh, I like the speed that is required to play the game and the agility because you have to constantly move side, sideways, front and back. And it's very tiring. Yeah, like two meters that way, a meter this way. <sighs> tough sport. No, I'm seriously. It's very <laughs> tough. Okay. Okay. I just gotta ask. Do you prefer coaching tennis or badminton? What was that, son? Badminton. Do you guys have any beef with other teams? Like, I don't know, the softball team or the tennis team, as they're very similar sports? Yeah, definitely the tennis team because. You know, as they say, all badminton players can play tennis, but not all tennis players can play badminton. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's... I mean... I'm... Okay. <laughs> um... Okay, and do you have any favorites on your badminton team? What, favorite players? They're all my favorite players. <laughs> definitely not Sophie. Oh, de definitely not Sophie, no. Okay. If there is one thing about badminton that we would change, what would it be? The shoes. The shoes? Yeah. Ugly things. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, last question. Who do you guys feel is most likely to show up late to practice? Uh, probably Kush. Yeah. Kush. <laughs> Sorry, Kush. Sorry. <laughs> He's got robotics to go to. That guy is committed with them chess and them robotics. I mean, a few weeks back, he was in Ayasa's chess and he missed the tournament or something. And every robotics day, which is a Tuesday and a Thursday, which happens to be our training days, he barely shows up, you know. Or when he does, he comes at 4.30. 4.30? Yeah, but you know, he's still our MVP. He got MVP last year, so... He's, he's boss with four HLs, by the way. He's single. <laughs> single. <laughs> okay, and that was Faces of Badminton. Those were the Faces of Badminton in this segment of Faces of Badminton. Thanks. Support your Bearcats. Bye. Thank you.
Okay, who's the most likely to show up? Yes. Oh my god, I'm so 